for the 2022 Randox Grand National. The runners stream down towards the first of 30 fences and towards the Melling Road and Fiddler on the Roof is one of the first ones to show together with Sam Crow. Annabelle flying to Claire Surfer right up there as well. Together there within the centre of the race course, prominent freewheeling Dylan as they prepare to take the first. Coco Beach and Longhouse Poet uh, down at the first Enjoy Dalen. Another one has gone at the first, it might have been Mount Ida. On towards the second, Coco Beach with Longhouse Poet. Two for gold out wide went through it. Then uh, after these lost in translation, freewheeling Dylan. And then Annabelle Fly in a red cap just behind it. Clear Sir, Sandro towards the inside. Followed then by Fiddler on the roof as they jump the ditch. And a couple have gone there. It looks like it. Eclair Surf and Annabelle Fly are down at the ditch on towards the next and over Coco Beach from two for gold followed by Lost in Translation freewheeling Dylan and then towards the inside Cloth Cap and then uh, a little wider is Class Conti as they race now to the one before Beaches and it's the grey Coco Beach who leads them over the fifth with Longhouse Poet towards the inside the Red Cap and Cloth Cap tracking them. Nose Bandit two for gold is right up there uh, with Lost in Translation a yellow jacket and Augusta Gold and Remainder Sanam and then Iscaria 10 as they make the run towards Beaches and it's Coco Beach the Grey, who's going to lift off just in front with two for gold right alongside. Uh, leaders are over, OK. Black Line made quite a bad mistake, but it looks as though the bulk of the field has cleared beaches, and they're now bearing down on the Foynhaven fence, the smallest on the course. Coco Beach and two for gold, followed by Longhouse Poet and Cloth Cap and Lost in Translation. Freewheeling Dylan is up there with Augusta Gold towards the outside. Uh, Samco and a yellow cap down on the inner as they close on, on the canal turn. Two for gold and Coco Beach from Longhouse Poet and Cloth Cap and lost in translation and freewheeling Dylan. Uh, good jump on the inside from Fiddler on the roof who cut the corner. Uh, Death Duty is down. Run while Fred is down. De Rasha counter also down at the canal turn three out there and the rest are going over Valentine's. Over Valentine's, it looks as though Manila Times might have gone there. Check on that. It's two for gold with Coco Beach with close up cloth cap. Then on the outside is uh, still uh, lost in translation. Manila Times is a faller. Snow Leopardess is well back at the moment. Augusta Gold was a faller of that last fence as they move on to the next. Two for gold and Coco Beach the grey. Schoolboy Hours has been pulled up as they jump this one. Longhouse Poet is right there with cloth cap in the white sleeves, white cap. They're followed by uh, Lost in tra Translation, Freewheeling Dylan. And then Romanda Sanam is quite handy. Fiddler on the hoof it is still there, right there with Samker on the inside in the yellow cap. And they're chased by any second now. And still towards the back, Snow Leopardess, as they make their way towards the Anchor Bridge crossing. And it's Coco Beach that leads from two for gold in second place. Then Longhouse Poet on the inside. Wider out is still Lost in Translation, Freewheeling Dylan. Then Romanda Sanam just hunting up the leader. Santini is not too far behind them as well. Any second now. Also, good boy Bobby just behind Noble Yates and Domain De Lille towards the inside as they race on towards the next couple of plain fences. Then it'll be the chair. So making the way towards the 13th fence and it's Coco Beach who's out in front under John Joe O'Neill Jr. and shows the way from the green and red of two for gold in second. Lost in translation and freewheeling Dylan and Roman de Sanam are the next ones. Discorama has been pulled up at the back of the field. Discorama is out of the race. Good boy Bobby made quite a bad mistake going out over the fence number 13. On towards the 14th now and it's Coco Beach and two for gold the leading pair. Close up behind his cloth cap, together with Lost in Translation. At the back of the field there, quite a few bad mistakes. Mighty Thunder certainly clouted it. They're on the way towards the chair, though. Two for gold, together with Coco Beach. The loose horse just getting in the way a little there. Lost in translation. Cloth Cap, Sam Crow, Noble Yates, Fiddler on the roof, and Dingo Dollar, prominent runners as they get out over the chair. Domaine de Lille has gone. Kiel de Sade is also down. Burrow Saint is another one to come down at the chair. Two for gold and Coco Beach led them over the water. From Longhouse Poet and Lost in Translation. Then Noble Yates and Cloth Cap and Freewheeling Dylan. Escaria 10 and then Dingo Dollar. Followed by Santini and Sam Crow. Next just in behind those is any second now. Then Roman de Sanam and Black Line. Topville Ben is still going further back to Poker Party. 
and then good boy Bobby. Another one still in the contest at the moment is Brahma Ball, Mighty Thunder. Snow Leopard S is going to be pulled up before going out on the second surface. And Snow Leopard S is out of the national. They're racing down then towards the next one. It's the 17th and it's two for gold. Together with Coco Beach, Dingo Dollar, Lost in Translation and Freewheeling Dylan. Two for gold and Coco Beach over the next. They're going to be waved out towards the right as they jump the next uh, the fence after this one, the ditch, because there's a horse on the inside out wide. It is lost in translation. It's two for gold attacking there from lost in translation. There's the flag followed by Coco Beach. Iscaria 10 and close up freewheeling Dylan with Longhouse Poet as they bypass this fence, this di open ditch. Iscaria 10 follows with Noble Yates and Sam Crow and Ramanda Sanam and then Dingo Dollar and Santi and then further back is Fitter on the Roof who's lost a few places from Topville Ben Fortescue still going also still going is any second now over that one Delta Work is stood in the race Mighty Thunder made a mistake when in the rear Brahma Bull is towards the rear as well with Cloth Cap and uh, also towards the rear Good Boy Bobby as they jump the one before Beaches and it was two for gold in the nose man who just about had the lead to Coco Beach and Longhouse Poet and Freewheeling Dylan Iscaria turned the maroon sleeves in cap then lost in translation and a yellow jacket dingo dollar is just behind remainder sanam uh, cloth cap is being pulled up fortescue is being pushed along but he's still going worse than midfield as the leaders take beaches for the second time first half doesn't have jumped it well stragglers getting over it as well there'll be 30 lengths top to tail among those still going as two for gold and coco beach lead them to foyne avon from longhouse poet lost in translation and freewheeling dylan noble yates making a bit of progress with the orange sleeves then ascaria tenor remainder sanam and santini fiddler on the roof and sam crow and dingo dollar in any second now and Fortescue and Topville Ben and Black Line and Delta Work as two for Gold and Coco Beach lead them at the canal turn just ahead of Longhouse Poet and Freewheeling Dillon uh, Lost in Translation is riding behind them Dingo Dollar is unseated and they're coming towards Valentine's for the final time and over this one, on the inside, Longhouse Poet in the red cap. Down the centre, Freewheeling Dylan, the grey Coco Beach. Out wide, lost in translation. Two for gold has just lost a place or two, followed by Romanda Sanam as they jump five out. Noble Yates is close up, stumbled slightly on landing, followed by Fiddler on the roof. Santini on the inside is going OK. And then any second now, getting a bit closer in a white cap. Sam Crow's out wide, it's just behind Iscaria 10 as they jump the next. The leaders are safely over. A gone is Fortis unseats the rider after a blunder looks like good boy Bobby has been pulled up as they continue on is Coco Beach freewheeling Dylan longhouse poet Irish runners one two three noble Yates in fourth Escaria ten in fifth and then on the outside lost in translation followed by Santini who's within seven or eight lengths of the lead as they make their way across the anchor bridge crossing further back is Romanda Sanan trying to get on terms Delta work in the maroon with the white star cap then two for gold is now weakening Sam Crow on the outside and then a gap to Commodore and then Class Conti and Black Lion the others are pulling up as they begin the left hand turn for home on the run towards the second last Longhouse Poet Freewheeling Dylan Coco Beach that's the front three chased by Noble Yates Escaria 10 and Santini Delta Work behind those footer on the roof and out wide is any second now one of these is going to win it they're approaching two from the end in the national, then in the yellow jacket, freewheeling Dylan. Now taken on by Noble Yates, the longhouse poet, and Delta Work coming there with a big chance along with any second now. They go on from Fiddler on the roof. Freewheeling Dylan now begins to weaken. Santini trying to stay on. The final fence in the national. And it's any second now, Noble Yates, with any second now just going on from Noble Yates in second. Delta Work is back in third. The longhouse poet and Santini and Fiddler on the roof. Clear from freewheeling Dylan, they're approaching the elbow, and it's Noble Yates he's through to the inside now to lead from any second now, who's battling away, all the way to the line Noble Yates in front by length over any second now, it's Noble Yates under Sam Willey going a fairy tale end to his career, Noble Yates has won the national, has beaten any second now Delta Work was home in third Fourth across the line, Santini. Fiddler on the roof was fifth. Longhouse Poet was sixth. And then Freewheeling Dylan and Coco Beach and Ascari at ten. Then came Roman de Senam and then Sam Crow, Commodore. And further behind then, still coming Klaus Conti, Black Lion and then Freewheeling Dylan. And uh, behind that one, lost in translation. How does it feel? Uh, it's a dream. Yeah. I, it won't sink in for weeks. I mean, it feels like a fantasy. And uh, I just don't know what to say. It's, uh, 
beyond words, it really is. Just things like this, it just almost feels like it couldn't happen. And there you were riding the perfect race again. Your record over this, these fences speak for themselves, but you've won the national. Oh, he ran for me. He couldn't go the early pace and I was just trying to find pockets to give him a bit of space to run into. And I found myself out the inner. I was going more forward than I wanted to. And he loved seeing his fences. So I just kept trying to find a spot where he could see them. When I asked him, if I asked him, he came, but if I just half asked him, he wasn't confident, so I was really just trying to sit against him, and he likes like the bit in his mouth and your legs on him, so I was just trying to get him in that nice rhythm. He just ran, and then as soon as I asked him, he went. What on earth went through your mind, jumping the last, thinking this, this could happen? I've gone too early. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't want to get there then, but at Cheltenham, I was struggling to stay with him all the time, but then when I pulled him out and asked him, he gave me way more than I expected. So half when I went for him, I thought, he's, he's got plenty. I know he's got plenty of toe. And so as soon as he picked up, I thought, he's gone. He's got this. This game is incredible, isn't it? You know, after last year, we had a, a first female rider to win the race. You have now gone and, and, and won this race, the first amateur for, for some time to do so. And it, and it adds to a Gold Cup win for you as well. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. And, you know, I have to say thanks to Dad. You know, he supported me unwaveringly, yeah. lovingly. When others said, put somebody else on. We've had a partnership, we've now had one crossword, it's only been for fun. And uh, we came here thinking, well, you know, the sun's out, it's your last ride, go and have a nice spin, no expectations, no instructions, just enjoy it. And, uh, you know, today, Liverpool comes out, Liverpool shows its love, and uh, honestly, you sort of feel like you travel on goodwill in this place. Delighted for you and your family, well done. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Good? Yeah, best way to finish ever. We're about to start the presentation, just want to, one quick word from yes. you, how do you feel? Uh, speechless. <laughs> what else can I say? Uh, I actually nearly lost my voice shouting too hard, which I've only ever done once before in my life, which was in the Grand, which was in the uh, um, Gold, Gold Cup, Cup, in the Gold Cup. Uh, and uh, I have to say, we've had such fun. We've had the most amazing time together. Uh, and uh, I can't believe he's not going to river ride a seven-year-old who's just won the national ever again. Well, now he's seven, the horse will be coming back as an eight-year-old next year. He might not be tempted out of retirement, no, surely. No, no, no. He's had his hat over it and he said, I'm never riding again in a race. <laughs> what a way to go out. And as his dad, you must be so proud. So proud. He did a most brilliant race. Well done. The owner must go up. Robert, well done. Emmett Mullins alongside me, one Grand National runner, one, one Grand National winner. You're in danger of making this game look rather easy. I don't know about that now to Tim Lines, but uh, we haven't had best of luck lately, but um, I, I, I do it all again now after that. What, what sort of buzz is it watching, watching a horse you train go and win a National? Um, going out in that second circuit, I had to take a deep breath. I says, That's, he's, just, he's in a winner's position, had a great chance in there. You were grand, going across the Mellon Road. He took a pull, got in a lovely posse, tracked the tree around, and that's, again, I had to take my second breath. Yeah. Uh, I took more blows than the horse did, I think, today. <laughs> and uh, But no, just uh, surreal, unbelievable. Just tell me about the, the association with the, with the Whaley Cohen family. It's obviously a, you know, a plan that, that they've put together for Sam's last ride, and, and you've orchestrated it beautifully. Yeah, no, as I say, it's only recent. It's only since um, early February, and... Uh, it's huge faith they put in me, and um, I didn't know that it had been Sam's last ride until this week either. So, uh, no, um, just, yeah, it's just fate, and uh, it, was, it was great, and uh, I'm delighted to be able to repay them. It was only seven. Yes, you won a bumper 14 months ago. Uh, so, no, it's, it's, uh, it's been a quick journey, but um, no, he's, uh, he's taken everything in the stride. Were you worried he was too young or too inexperienced? No. Uh, luckily, I don't read much, and um, no, I was never too worried. No. no. And obviously, look, Sam, the story is is Sam is going to get a huge amount of plaudits, but just you know, pay tribute to this horse. What the, what are those attributes he has that's meant he's won a national? Oh, from the word go, with the day we bought him, um, I know he only finished second in his point to point in Ballon Dennis, but uh, the way he gallops to the line, he's relentless. He's just he keeps trying. Um, he's had his few little bits and bothers with his issues, um, but uh, the more we tried to help him, I think with hoods and things, we, we, we hindered him. Mm. And um, the more simpler we left it, the better. The, the second, third and fourth, you know, wily characters, any second now, Delta Works, Santini, and then your sort of fresh seven-year-old has, 
has gone and beaten them all. That's it, in a modern day national though, I know there was plenty of drama there today, but um, he's, a, he's a novice that probably could have gone a, a graded route and we chose not to. We chose to get the experience in the paddy power and things like that. And over two miles over handicap fences as well. And I'd say that's all stood to him today and probably didn't expose him as much as the others. He, he, uh, we thought he had uh, a bit up our sleeves, but um, it's never until you go and do it till uh, you find out. Two are pulled well clear as well. You, yourself and, and any second now come nicely clear. Yes, yeah, and any second now is second national. He's uh, probably been hard done by once or twice, so, uh, but look, we're, we're delighted we're able to do it. Huge congratulations, well done. Cheers, thanks. Noble Yates' is owner, we've just heard from him, Robert Whaley Cohen and his entire family, hopefully, will be coming up to the podium. Getting a lovely reception from everybody here. And there they are. The entire Whaley Cohen family, excellent to enjoy Sam's success. Now Emma Mullins has won the Grand National at the first attempt, the kind of feat that we expect from a trainer as talented as this. A young trainer, I think, who'll be lifting many trophies such as this over the course of what will no doubt be a long and successful career. What and now, Sam Whaley Cohen. On his retirement ride, with him are his wife Bella, the kids Max and Scarlett, and the winning jockey in the Grand National is Sam Whaley Cohen. Here comes Sam Whaley Cohen on his last ever ride. He has won the national, the race that he's always wanted to, with his wife Bella and kids Max and Scarlett to receive this trophy that he has wanted to lift all of his career, despite all of the many, many great races that he's run. What a CV, CV he has. And he's getting three cheers from the crowd who understand what this success means to him. That's a lovely scene. What a great sporting achievement this is. And the Wadey Cones can relish this.